This has to be one of the most talked about stories of the I'll year, say. really. Tonight's first on Fox looks at new information about those strange lights seen over Phoenix earlier this year. Now, some people said those lights were from a test bombing range south of the valley, but Jim Schneevelt's experts say no way in tonight's 10 Files. Many believe that the strange lights of March 13th were bombing flares above a practice range. But the man that took these pictures from his Moon Valley home still wonders what he saw that night. I don't know what they are, but I know that they're not flares shot from an airplane. Kristen's view for the last 17 years looks out over the Southwest Valley. He can clearly see the Estrella Mountains. And he believes the strange lights were not over the bombing range beyond the mountains. You're convinced these lights were this side of the mountains? Absolutely, absolutely. And, and, and the reason I say that is because the lights were lower than the mountains. The mystery of the lights was reignited by a one-hour TV special last week on the Discovery Channel. In that program, a California optics lab compares Kristen's nighttime video to the same scene taken during the daytime. Their result shows the lights above and beyond the mountain seeming to disappear as they fall out of sight over the bombing range, supporting the flare theory. And he really stretched the imagination here to bring this thing in. Kristen watched the program and questions it. He thinks the lights were lower and in front of the mountains. So we test the footage ourselves. It's a simple test using daytime and nighttime footage, both taken by Kristen using the same camera at the same location. We compare positions of the lights. This is the first time I've seen this and it didn't take long to do this at all. And just going from matching the shots up, going from one to the other, lights are in front of the mountain. Why the discrepancy between our test and theirs? He changed the positioning of these lights to, leave, to so that they would coincide with this peak over here. He actually altered the footage. How else could he do it? This light was always here, remember that? If these are flares, are they over the bombing range? Or has the footage been altered? And by whom and why? The mystery continues. Jim Schneebelt, Fox 10 News. The flare controversy only relates to the sightings to the southwest at around 10 o'clock that night. Other sightings over Phoenix earlier that night also remain unexplained. Coming up on Fox 10 News.